Hello to all of my cancers. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading cancers. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Yes, this is your motivational Monday reading. Even though it may be Sunday, this reading is for the 18th of September through the 18th of October. Let's go, cancers. Let's go. First card out of the deck is discipline. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles coexist, the star card, and Knight of Cups. Some energies want you to coexist. But I don't see you coexisting with that. I see you disciplining yourself, right? Um, here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Here we have the Six of Pentacles. Here we also have the Star card. Here we also have the Knight of Cups. There's some energies that want you to coexist, but if you really look at like, well, first of all, you're going to have to be able to coexist with your own planetary alignment. So please pull your birth chart. Find out exactly what sets you apart from every other cancer on the planet. That's first and foremost, because what other one, uh, what one, um, cancer, um, can take another cancer is like, mm -mm, nope, that's not me. I don't know about that cancer, but I'm not that, uh, I'm not that particular, I'm not that cancer. I need to be nurtured differently. Right. So source is saying you are held in very high regard. The energy of money is very attracted to you. Your reputation is intact, even with haters. People know, like, you know what? You know, like a person could be saying something negative about you, but they can say, yeah, but you know what? They, they are resourceful, you know, that kind of thing, right? They can't just give you a full-on compliment. They got to say something. They got to add something negative to it because they are, they are in hating mode. They can't just find something positive. So source is saying to you, you're not looking for their approval because you already know that you're in your throne and things are working out very well for you. And so source is saying in this instance right here, you're going to have to take things case by case basis. The only person that can save you is you. If, for instance, if something from your past is trying to resurface, let's say, for instance, let's get, let me be specific with somebody here because this is what's coming to my spirit. Let's say you have an adult child and you are no longer with the other parent. And the adult child is like, I just want everybody to get along and so on and so forth. And you know that your time before they were even born was hellacious. You know, this, this energy and their family tried to drag you down to just the worst, worst, worst part. And it took you years to come up from that, like to believe in yourself again. And, you know, you could have gone through some deep depression, whatever the situation is, that should be a, fair, a firm no. That's too triggering for somebody. Like that's too many memories. And somebody asking you, it's like, I love you, but that's a no for me. Cause long before you were even born, these people try to destroy me. They tried everything they could possibly do to destroy me. Well, you know, and of course the person who is asked, you know, trying to get you to coexist with some stuff is they haven't walked a mile in your shoes, except they're seeing it through your lens based on what you're telling them. But if you know that thing broke you or almost broke you, had you depressed, scared, whatever, it's a no. You should be able to explain it by now. You should be able to explain it. Um, but again, take it on case by case basis. If there are people that you, you know, trying to get you to coexist um, let's say for somebody you working in a workplace and somebody that you used to work with is now on, you know, hired there, or you found out that they work there and that person was a, what's the, 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 like a Tasmanian devil when you used to work with them. If you know that this energy, if you don't have to interact with them and they may be like, Oh, oh my God, I didn't know you were working here. Cancer, blah, 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 blah. You know, maybe we should go to lunch together, whatever. You can easily decline. If they were a Tasmanian demon in the other company and they're in this and you find out y'all work together, same thing. Mm -mm, no, thank you. You know, well, I, I hope everything's going good for you, but you know, I'm so busy. I'm so busy just trying to, you know, work and everything. I'm, I'm good. Always decline their request. You don't need to be good because you're already, my point to you is that when people are asking you to coexist and you've had personal experiences with people and see how low people can go. This is all about protecting your mental health and your physical health as well, which is just as important. So I see you in receiving mode. Like I said, you want to protect your image. You want to protect your energy. You want to protect. So people from, you know, who, who want you to coexist with some stuff from your past, they're only trying to prove a point. They're trying to prove a point. Oh, we were right about C and they want to show other people that that's who they are. Source is saying you don't have to give somebody that, that access to you. So your reputation is intact. You're good. Here we have the strength card. Here we have the hangman. Here we have the moon card, the death rebirth card, the chariot card, and also the 10 of swords. Yeah. 
people like to be around people. They want to, they want to show people, Oh, see, I told you they didn't like me because they see that you're not warming up to certain people. You're not giving any, you're saying, you're just saying no. Nope. And if that means, see what, look, okay. Here we have the moon card right here. Certain energies from your surface, I'm sorry, excuse me, from your past are trying to resurface. It's an emotion. It's an emotionally overwhelming feeling for somebody. Something is trying to resurface. And source is saying to you, you're not delusional. You're not losing your mind. You're not going crazy. Source is saying, but you want to use that same energy to dream bigger in terms of how you are attracting the things that you want for yourself. Like maybe you started a business. You can use that imagination to dream big as far as your business is concerned. It's like source is already letting you know what's trying to resurface from your past and trying to get you to coexist with some stuff. It may be a wedding that somebody is saying, you know, I want to get married to so-and-so and I really, you know, really want you to be there. I'm telling you, or, or, you know, um, either way, let me just say this, whether you say yes or no, source is going to reward you. Let me just put it this way. Keep the negative comments out of your mouth though, because again, if you say no, you should be able to stand on it. It was just too triggering for me. It, it affected my mental, my mental health that much that it would just take me all the way back there. I need to protect myself. That's all you really need to say about it. Or, or if you're getting married and people are just expecting for you to coexist with some stuff. And like I see, you know, sources saying to you, the old you would not have necessarily been able to communicate with it, right? But source is saying the, the new you, your meekness and how direct you are in love and how you deliver that message cancer is going to let a person know, oh, okay, they definitely not as, as nice as they are. They're a sweetheart, but they're not, they definitely not a pushover. You can't just steamroll over them, right? That's how people are going to know is, um, and because you don't have a problem, like you're basically telling people, Hey, if you want me to coexist with the other side of the family that tried to ruin me, they did everything they could possibly to try to ruin me. Somebody may even come back and say, oh, well, that was years ago. You didn't, you know what? The energy, the way that you are delivering the message is like, I'm okay with being by myself. I'm thriving. <laughs> I survived a lot and I'm still standing. There's already been beauty for ashes. I'm still standing. So if that means that because I'm declining your invitation to attend you know, something or, or connect with a, a certain part of the family because they want to all of a sudden be in my presence because they see what your reputation is. They see that, you you know, you, you got a lot of good things going on in your life and they like, oh, we didn't know this. Well, nobody told us that because they so busy trying to drag you down to all you need to know is that they still on a low frequency. That's all you need to know is that they're still on the old, on the same, on the old. So source is going to reward you for moving forward and not going back. Matter of fact, this reading is about not going backwards at all. Your star is shining bright. So of course people want to coexist with you. Of course they want to be in your space because your star is shining bright. Things are happening for you. Your reputation is intact. They are hoping that you would spend time getting down off of your throne to be more relatable. You already relate to them. You're a human being. All human beings, we relate to each other. We, we all cry. We all laugh. We all, you know, uh, we all grieve, whatever. But anyway, so source is saying to you, listen, you don't need to step down off of your throne so that other people can try to drag you down to their frequency because some people in your past definitely, somebody was married to somebody and the marriage has ended. And they want to be connected to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Only take what resonates with you. You could have been married to them in business or married to them in love. Married in business could have been an old job when I say married in business. That was contractual, right? But, you know, people want to be connected to you. But again, you're in all humility. No. Nope. I'm good. So just discipline yourself because some people who are trying to come back because they will almost like try to force themselves into your life and they will take your meekness as weakness. But again, you're still being rewarded for, you're being rewarded. Like I see somebody possibly, um, part of this um, connection to your you being on your throne is that there are people from other parts of the world that also want to be connected to you and that, that people from the past, they're still seeing it as a way in to increase their wealth, 
right? If I can, if I can, you know, like a person who hasn't talked to you in years and they can know that you live in a different country, all of a sudden they could, they couldn't find your number all those other years. They couldn't find any way to get to you. But now all of a sudden they got to reach, they got to reach out. Oh, I'm, I'm traveling to so-and-so just that spirit of entitlement. Oh, I'm traveling to so-and-so. I know, um, I know cancer, you know, lives there. Let me, let me stay with cancer. This is where you say the past, I'm leaving the past behind. I don't know this person. They haven't been carefully vetted. I don't know what their intentions are. They go, they will come at you with, oh, well, we've been knowing each other for years or we were married. We have kids together, whatever the case may be. So it's just like, if that means that you don't want to be in certain spaces with people, don't even feel bad. Here we also have the four of swords. We also have the queen of swords. We also have the knight of swords, the eight of cups, the 10 of cups, and also the six of cups. So somebody is learning how to toss out any bitterness as it relates to the, the word family, whether it's your family or somebody else's family, toss out the bitterness and make sure and, and the, so that you're not having negative conversation about it. Your ba it. It really boils down to this. Does your inner child feel safe, nurtured and protected around them or not? And if it's no, that should be a no brainer. I'm moving on. This is no bitterness, whatever. I tossed the bitterness out a long time ago. I just don't feel nurtured, protected, and safe around them. Matter of fact, for a person to say to you that let bygones be bygones, I don't feel nurtured, protected, and safe around you either. Because basically, you're trying to accuse... Basically, they say, maybe by their definition, you're holding a grudge. You're not holding a grudge. Something could have almost taken somebody down, like taken somebody under. Like this right here, this person is drowning. You could have been drowning in debt, drowning in emotions drowning to a point where you feel like okay i'm not gonna make it or in this life i was drowning and so source is saying stay away from the negative conversation about it be prepared that if you need to stand firm on what you said however the chips fall so i just want you to get some rest though like really really rest your mind and also the queen of swords you you also have some people who are on who are close to death this is also coming up too you also have some people that are close to death that like one of the things that I'm seeing here in the cards, and again, only take what resonates with you. Somebody had a very, um, somebody had a parent. Okay. Somebody was either married to, or thought about marrying somebody whose parent was so evil towards you that in their, in the transformation process, like them dying, like I'm saying that because of the death rebirth card. Now, all of a sudden people want to make peace with you. You've already made peace with the situation. You've already moved on from something. That's why source is saying you don't need to go back to anything just to grant them one last wish of being at peace with the fact that now they've come to their senses. Source is saying, again, I'm only telling you what I'm seeing in the cards. Source is saying, move on move on. You have a lot of thing, blessings. All of these are filled cups of fresh water. And then you got all of these cups right here. It's like you have so much to be grateful for with that energy being out of your universe. For somebody to ask you to coexist with that and them not understand it, understand it, and overstand it, that's okay. You're not even going to waste your water on even trying to explain. Just the answer is no. You're out here, a bright light. You're very nurturing energy to a lot of energies. And people are benefiting from that. People are really, really benefiting from that. So um, that's what I'm seeing for you all. That's what I'm seeing for you all. All right, let's go ahead and shut this down. Let's go ahead and close it out. But yeah, somebody's definitely going to ask you to coexist if they haven't already to coexist with madness. And it really boils down to this. If you feel nurtured, protected, and secure, or if you have or haven't, if you haven't, the answer is no. Nope. And you should be able to communicate it so effectively that you're still being, in, like I said, saying it in a very sweetheart way, but like, no, that compromises my mental health. So no, that, that's going to be a no for me. Even if the person that invites you, like I said, it could be family members like, well, you know, I'm gonna have to let you go. Cause I mean, you, you holding on to grudges. No, you're holding on to grudges and you're trying to, you're trying to project it on.